We've come to Sutton in Ashfield now to visit the fantastic lofts of Ron Vardy. And what a fantastic outlook this loft has got. Fantastic. Thanks very much for having me around to the pigeons today, Ron. Oh, you're welcome. What system do you race? Basically, I fly Widowood, and the hens, they fly natural. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's various deviations of uh, Widowood flying, and you've got to try all of them uh, to keep at the top. Yeah. Competition's very, very keen in the local club. Yeah. You can't stand still. Yeah. What do you mean, you, play, you sort of play around with hens and cocks? Yes, you've got to do. Um, what's one or two of your best positions you've won in recent seasons? Oh, I've had a lot of uh, good positions. I've had, this year I got the first four in the Federation from two or three thousand pigeons. In the past I've had first, second, fourth, fifth and sixth fed. Uh, I've had first four two years ago. In the last five years I've topped the Federation 21 times. Fantastic performance, mate. What sort of distance racing do you like? Do you like short or long? I like it, to, basically I like it from the first race up and including Thurzo. Yeah. I don't usually send to Lerick. How far do you fly from Thurzo? Thurzo, it's just under 400 miles. Yes, this is my red uh, checker cock. He's a 91 pigeon. He's topped the Federation three times. He's had a lot of other Federation cards in the first 20 in the Fed. Uh, what family is he on? Well, he's, he's a mixture. He's got uh, a lot of my father's old breed in him, plus some Janssen. Yeah. Uh, the main race points that he likes is Morpeth and Perth. Yeah, what sort of distances are they? We're talking about uh, 140 miles and 240 miles. How long have you been in the sport then, Ron? Well, in actual fact, I was born into the sport. Uh, that was 53 years ago. My father has always kept pigeons, and obviously I've just uh, inherited the trait and carried on. Yeah, he was a good fancier, Dad. A very, very good fancier. Uh, there wasn't many years that he wasn't top prize winner, whichever club he flew in. In fact, I can remember one year, in one old bird season of 11 races, he topped the Federation six times. Incredible. Fantastic fancier. What was his name? Uh, Arthur Vardy, who used to fly his A Vardy and Sons. The time that he w got the six first feds in 11 races, that he, he flew with his brother, as Vardy brothers. That's when they used to live in Coventry. Great fancy, mate. Thank you very much. These are a few of your widowed cocks in, Ron. How many cocks have you got? Well, this year at the moment, I've got 21 cocks uh, in three sections, three separate sections. Yeah. I notice you've got uh, the grills on the floor. Oh yes, I've had the grills for many, many years. How often do you clean them out? Well, uh, usually, obviously, with these cocks as they are now, it could be a month, six weeks, possibly two months. Yeah. Uh, but with the young birds, which are also on grills, obviously, with there being a lot more young birds, they're cleaned out more often. That's usually three or four weeks. Yeah. Uh, so I notice you use the heaters as well. How often do you use them? Well, the heaters mainly, they're there for the winter when I'm breeding, uh, just to keep the ice off the water. Yeah, when do you pair up? I usually pair up about the beginning of January. Yes, this is a 94 pigeon. It flew extremely well last year as a yearling. Six times he was in the first 20 in the Fed. In fact, five of those times he was in the first 10 in the Fed. What he, family is he one? A family, in actual fact, is, is out of a hen of the old breed. Uh, and the cock is a cock that I borrowed from my very good friend David Boot. Uh, what's called is a cock called Dominator of David's, uh, and this one we're calling uh, Young Dominator. We're hoping to for good things of him again this year. On your widowed system, Ron, do you actually break the cocks down? Oh yes. Uh, on the day for, on the return from the race, they do get uh, a depurative mixture with uh, lemon juice and brewer's yeast on it. Yeah. How, uh, how long do they get the hens for on, the, on their return from the race? Usually at the beginning of the year, about half an hour, going on towards about an hour towards the end of the season. Yeah. Do you train them at all when they're on Widowood? But before we actually start racing, I give them uh, one or two chucks just to get back into the rhythm of things. 
and then during the season, if I think they want a livener, then I would give them one. But I don't usually give them many training yeah. tosses uh, after they've started racing. Yeah. Are they shown the hens on Friday night? Some of them, yes. Definitely the, the yearlings, fresh on the job, and some of the old ones, obviously it's knowing the, each individual pigeon. Some you can show, others you're better off not showing. It's, it's a matter of getting to know the older pigeons. Yeah, because uh, the, the yearling pigeons have to get used to the system, don't oh, they? Oh yes, that's why I said the yearlings, definitely for the first few races. Yes, this is a, a 93 pigeon. He's an unusual pigeon in so much that uh, he's treated exactly the same as all the other pigeons. Yet he only seems to start to score in the last four or five races. Uh, but by golly, does he score? He usually has two or three uh, fed cards. Uh, in fact, this year at Thurzo, he was third fed. Beautiful cop, mate. What fame is he? Again, he's, uh, he's the old family with a cross of Janssen in from my friend David Boot. Yes, my main racing loft, it's 32 feet long comprising of six sections. Starting from the left, the first section, that's for the natural hens. The next two sections, that's for the young birds. Then the last three sections, they're for the widowed cocks. Well, you trapped through the open doors, I see. Oh, definitely trapped through the open doors, yes. Uh, with the young birds, uh, the court actually in the corridor. We don't go into the shed after them. As I say, your loft's got a fantastic outlook, hasn't it? Fantastic. Oh, oh, yes. Just rolling hills and fields. It must be fantastic on here on a Saturday watching the birds come in. It is that. These are a few of your young birds in. How many babies you breed each season? On an average, it's usually 50 to 60. Uh, this year, I've bred 65. Yeah. Do you like young bird racing? Oh, definitely. I like young bird racing. Yeah. How far do you send your babies? Well... I, I do send them up to Perth, which is 242 mile, but I think 200 mile is plenty far enough for young birds. Yeah. Do you tend to concentrate on the hens because of the widowed? No, no. They all have to race. All the young birds have to race. Yeah, this is my stock loft. Uh, it was built by Andrew Greengrass at Cresswell. Uh, it's approximately 18 feet by 8 feet. Uh, and as you can see, it's got a wire aviary on the front. How many pairs of stock birds do you keep in one? I can keep at 16 pair, but at the moment there are only 14 pair of stock birds. This is a sea inside your stock loft then, Ron? Yes. When do you pair your stock birds up? The same time that I pair me uh, Woodward Cocks up in the beginning of January. Yeah, what basically families do you keep? There's no one particular family. The mainstay is my father's old original family, which was Emil, Jansen, Lamotte and Marion. Uh, obviously they're getting very, very thin now, but what I do, I always keep introducing the odd pigeon in from other successful fanciers. Uh, I mean, I've actually had two from John Salt, uh, who is a very, very good local... Fantastic racer, John Salt. He certainly is. Obviously that's why I went to him. Uh, and again, obviously putting those into the old family, they're producing the goods. Uh, also. My uh, friend David Boot, there's quite a few pigeons here from David Boots and their breeding. We do swap and wrap quite a lot, myself and David. Well, you, you like to cross these pigeons with your old family, do you? Oh, yes, yes. And then basically, all off the winners, the mainly yeah, off the winners. Yeah. I mean, retired pigeons that win, uh, if they last a the course five or six years, then they come into the stock shed and I read off them. The nest boxes are nice and deep, Ron. What size are they? Yes, they're approximately two feet six by two feet. I like a, a really big box because obviously uh, when they're paired up, I fasten them into the boxes to guarantee the parentage. Well, that's of the first round. Obviously, yeah. after the first round, uh, they do come out. And also, uh, I can put another nest bowl in uh, when the young one's about 14, 15 days old and they're soon down on eggs again. Yeah, this is an 84 pigeon. It's one that's called Dancing Jack Walker. Uh, the reason I call it Dancing Jack Walker because the hen that bred the cock was one I was given by from Jack Walker of Huthwaite. This cock has had two first feds and three second feds. Yeah, he's in the stock loft. He always definitely is in the stock loft and he's breeding winners. Uh, a lot of his brothers and sisters have all won 
In fact, at one period of time, I'd got five or six cocks, and they're all uh, big prize winners. It's a nice looking cock again. Lovely feathered pigeon, that one. He certainly is. Very Thanks very much for coming around today, Ron. It's been a great pleasure. Your lofts and pigeons are great credit to you. Thank you very much, uh, Keith. The pleasure's been mine. I've thoroughly enjoyed showing you uh, through the lofts. Uh, I only hope that the uh, it comes out well on video. Yeah, I hope it does, mate. I wish you all the best for the new season. Thank you very much.